<laughs> Would you be terribly mad at me if I recorded the entire video like this? Let me get situated. Hey guys, hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nassine. I am 37. I do keto vlogs, day in the life, reviews, meal preps, just all the keto things. I have four beautiful kids, a floofy, fluffy husky, two kitty kitties, and I love the clicky clickies. If you are new here, this is a part of the video where I show you what I am eating for lunch and what I had for breakfast. So there was no video from me yesterday and it feels really weird to have not recorded and not to have edited last night. And it was nice to have a day off, although I spent my entire night just like replying to emails and um, catching up on all my socials because with my channel growing, I do miss a lot of messages. I miss a lot of tags on Instagram and on Facebook and it's hard to keep up with things sometimes. So I kind of spent the night doing that. I got to play one video game and um, I don't think I cooked anything. I just had leftovers of that chicken ziti and I had a coffee, which actually helped me not want to eat all the things. So that was interesting and it didn't keep me up all night. And um, I had some macadamia nuts and some cheese and pork rinds. So that's what I had for dinner. And then yesterday for lunch, I had, um, I went to Wendy's and I got a side salad and a Dave's double plain. And I did have two hard boiled eggs yesterday morning as well as my usual coffee. So this morning, I made two cups of my usual coffee. One was Bones Coffee Company Jack o Lantern. I'm trying to use the rest of that up. And then the other one was chocolate orange. And I forgot to add sugar to it. I forgot to add my um, pure stevia blend. So I just had almond milk and my MCT powder and I did do a scoop of unflavored collagen as well. And then I poured half of my um, Premier Protein cookies and cream into one of the coffees because it tasted like absolute butt without sugar. <laughs> <laughs> so I poured half of that in there and then um, I have the keto chow that I made the other day which is what flavor is this root beer this is root beer root beer and this is only two yes two not a fourth cup two tablespoons of MCT oil in this with four to five ounces of unsweetened vanilla almond milk and the rest water so um, I had made this yesterday and I was going to eat it yesterday. I brought a spoon this time and everything because it had frozen again and I forgot the spoon. So I was like, that's it, I'm going to Wendy's. So I had gone to Wendy's and did all that. Um, yesterday was sort of uneventful. I just wanna keep you filled in on the loop of everything that I did. Um, poor Peyton's little legs, he had an allergic reaction to a, sh um, not a shampoo, a clothing soap that we used because I had ran out so we used some of Josh's and he, oh I felt so bad for him because all day at school his legs were burning and itching. He had a rash all over his legs and it was from the clothing soap so I felt bad. So we went to Dollar General and we got some um, like Benadryl and he bought flamingo slippers for his birthday, <laughs> pink flamingo slippers, he thought they were just the funniest thing ever. So, um, yeah, uh, this morning I had the Premier Protein and my regular coffees. I'm going to drink this and I will uh, see you guys after work. Bye. All right, guys, so I got mail. All the damn shoes. I got a lot of mail. Um, I got mail yesterday and because I didn't vlog, I didn't show you, so I'm going to show you now. So from Sheila, I received a brand new Dash mini waffle maker so I can make my chaffles again. Which I'm actually really in the mood for. I also received a nice big bag of vanilla keto chow. So excited about that. Very excited because with vanilla you can make all kinds of flavors by adding different concentrates and syrups and whatever powders you can make it taste like anything also a new blendy bottle so I don't have to use the built not the built I have so many different words in my head new blendy bottle so I don't have to use that 310 nutrition one 
Thank you. I really appreciate it, Sheila. And I loved your little letter too. Thank you so much. Um, that keto chow is very exciting for me. I've wanted a big bag of vanilla now for a while so I could experiment and try new flavors and now I have it. Um, then I got my Bones coffee came. So let me set you up and I'll open it. This is because of you guys ordering from my link and me getting points. From that, I was able to order all five sample packs of the new holiday flavor. And I'm very excited for tomorrow to come. Why is there a wine glass in the sink? Jimmy used it for milk. So, the first flavor uh, is the eggnog. Ooh. The next flavor is white chocolate peppermint bark. Ooh. And then you get the Halloween ones too. Yeah. The next flavor is O Fudge, which is, um, is a fudge. <laughs> the next flavor is Gingerbread Man. And the last flavor is Jingle Bones, which is a coconut, caramel, and vanilla. Not sure exactly which one of those I will try first. Who wants the bone sticker? Me. Okay. Um, I'm not sure which one I would want to try first. Probably, I think I would like to do white chocolate peppermint bark. That one sounds super good. Uh, next, I have a package from Christy. From Christy, my friend Christy. I literally can't believe I have this much mail today. This is insane. And the UPS guy pulled up. Oh my gosh. The UPS guy pulled up right as I was getting in. It is a Keto Chow starter, starter Bundle. Thank you. Thank you. Christy, yay. All the Keto Chows. Oh yes, Snickerdoodle, I love it. And I used mine already. The regular strawberry, chocolate, mocha, and a vanilla. Thank you so much, Christy. Thank you so much, Christy. You guys are really setting me up to succeed with the keto chow. I, I can't thank you guys enough for this. Let me put my keto chow in the little, my little, I have a little area for it over here. Tiffany's really excited to open the next one because um, I know that it is for both of us. It's specifically for her from Tracy. Thank you, Tracy. And it's um, for a reason. I'm not going to tell her the reason until she opens it. Mm -hmm. My roommate's cooking steaks and they smell amazing. So now I want to go get steak. Here. What's the reason? Well, this is. Let's read the card first. Did you tell them I love socks? Because I do. And here's yours. You are my sunshine. Dear Nassine, just a little thank you for all you share with us. We all appreciate you. Thank you for being you. I hope you and Tiffany like these socks. Keep these toes. Keep those toes warm on the cold winter. Oh! days and nights love you girl love tracy i get it <laughs> so it's because of your issues with your your little toes and your hands and stuff she wanted she seen these socks and she wanted to send us some warm fuzzy socks to help keep your feet warm these are cute and they're for the holidays look at how cute they are and we can I match. thought you told them like how much I love socks or something. They're so cute. Because I do. I love socks. I like these. Especially long little socks. Little reindeer. Yes, I like socks. I'm, I'm obsessed with socks. And um, that's probably where you get it from me. Um, excuse me? She's already putting her socks on. I have my um, shoes on so I can't put mine on. And I have another package to open. Wow, um, excuse. This says glass. Glass? I know what this is though. Well, I think I know what it is. Can I open it? This is from Sonny. This is from Sonny. Okay, yes, I know what Thank this is. Thank you. 
Yeah, you can do that. Be careful. I know what this is. Does it actually have glass? I don't think so. This is really tough. Yeah, they packaged it very, very well. I can't believe how <laughs> literally all these things came today. That's crazy. Isn't it cool how one snip of a scissors can... <gasps> Peanuts! Don't... I don't want Lincoln. And... Okay, so there's ice packs in here. Alright, so... This smoked sausage. Now, she told me about this sausage and she mentioned how this sausage is like, it, it's from Louisiana. It's like a, basically a delicacy. Like everybody loves this sausage. This, I can't even pronounce this. What is it? Rabidou Rabidoux? And, and yes, it is cold. So they did a good job keeping it cold. It had some ice packs on it. So what's some the good ice? Ice packs on it. I don't know. There's something else in here, so hold on. Did you um, this is um, the pork and jalapenos. Oh. Then there is another one in here. Oh, and yet another. Then there is um, this one is pork and venison. And these macros are amazing. One carb. One carb. One carb. It's very hard to find sausage here that isn't full of sugar then this one which i'm really excited to try this one is um pork green onions and garlic doesn't that sound and it's like this stuff is like a freaking delicacy there and then i'm not sure what this is Now we've been talking about this sausage since the summertime and she wanted to send it for a while but um, she wanted to wait till the weather got colder so it wouldn't spoil in the mail. She sent me some pecan oil. Thank you. Thank you, because I kept telling her that I didn't know. What, I, I've not seen pecan oil anywhere yet. This is to make with um, using my keto chow. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. Yes, I want to just make sure before we throw it out that there's oh, nothing I'm else in them here. Off. You're not keeping these. You are not keeping these. Link cannot get no, into this No, I'm taking it stuff. outside. With my friends. Take, take all the boxes. It's showing Thank you so much. So, macros on pecan oil. 14 grams of fat. Um, 130 calories. No carbs, of course. No protein. I can't wait to use the pecan oil. Thank you so much. This is a nice big bottle of it, too. And it is straight from Louisiana. That is so cool. I'm excited about these. I need to figure out how I'm going to cook these. I think I want to save these for tomorrow to enjoy. And I'm, I'm starving right now. So I need to figure out what I am doing for dinner. I need to get our... Um, I guess you want to see my face. I need to get the house picked up. And um, I also got my Instacart bags. I ordered the insulated bags. So my last Instacart order, I got, I earned like $33 last Sunday. And so um, most of that went towards purchasing these bags, which they're mine to keep. But they're just insulated bags so I can better food safety and all that jazz. So I figured out that um, it's harder for me to get like a lot of money on Instacart because our area is on demand. So we don't, you're not able to pick up hours in our area. You are only able to pick a batch as it comes up. We only have eight shoppers in our area and not a lot of people know about Instacart here in our town. So I, I actually contacted a Instacart person and 
I got that information. So, and, and it seems that the weekends are really when anybody is using it. So, and for me, it seems like Sundays are the days. I'm sure it happens more often during the weekday, but I'm at work. And so I don't get those notifications because I'm not in my zone at that time. So, um, I, I just feel like it was Christmas just now. I got all of my Christmas coffees. I got my Christmas present from Sonny and I can't wait to eat that stuff. I got an amazing, awesome present of keto chow from Christy. And then I got awesome fluffy socks from Tracy. You guys are awesome. And Sheila yesterday with my dash waffle maker and my big, huge bag of keto chow and the new bottle. Thank you so much. I love all you guys. You guys don't have to send me anything, but just know it is very, very much appreciated and I love it so much. Thank you so much. It really, really made me smile today and yesterday. It, it's just nice. I just feel so, so thankful that you guys listen to me and you, you just, you know me. You know the things that I like and I just feel like you guys are like really, there for me and we're connected and we're friends so i will talk to you guys when i'm eating i'm gonna go clean bye all right guys i have a porterhouse steak and then i cut up some mushrooms and onion green pepper red pepper and just cook them in some Kerrygold butter and so i have that and then i have my steak and then i'm gonna have a sparkling ice and that is going to end tonight's vlog. I am going to eat this and enjoy some YouTube and then try to work on a schedule of some sort of all the recommendations that you guys gave me to make things. So um, some of them include hazelnut, Nutella, granola, macadamia cookies, almond butter, cashew butter, chocolate butt bark but I, i'm pretty sure she meant something else she did reply to that i just haven't read it yet <laughs> chocolate butt bark pecan sandies um and i may be doing a podcast on somebody's channel so trying to figure that out that's in the works victoria gets fit was the first to comment on tuesday's video because there wasn't a video for wednesday or Wednesday's video whatever the last video she was the one first one to comment so congratulations on that and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new leave me a comment down below and I will see you guys real soon bye